Here's today's question, which is worth 25 marks. We're given a formula for Frida's power output, where W is her weight and H is the height she can jump in meters. In part A, we have to work out the value of P when W is equal to 70 and H is equal to 0 0.65. To do this, we just fill these values into the formula. So this is the new equation we get, and now we need to multiply out the brackets. Adding these numbers together, we get P is equal to 4360.3. For working this out, we get 6 marks. In part B, we're told that after one week, Frida's power output increases by 8, but her weight has not changed. Now we need to work out the value of H after the first week, correct to two decimal places. Since her power output increased by 8, it is now 4368.3. Since her weight has not changed, we get this new equation with one unknown, which is H. To solve for H, we need to move everything else over to the other side. Now our new equation is 62H is equal to 48.3. So to find H on its own, we divide both sides by 62. Corrected two decimal places, this gives us an answer of h is equal to 0 0.78 meters, which is the new height that she can jump after the first week. Part B is worth another four marks. In part C, we're given a graph showing her power output when w is equal to 70 kg for different values of h, which is the height. This graph cuts the y-axis when p is equal to 4320. The question asks us to draw a graph to show the different values of P for different heights H when W is equal to 80 kg. You also have to show where the graph cuts the y-axis. So here's our new equation for P when W is equal to 80 and H is unknown. From this formula, we can see that when H is equal to zero, P is equal to 4680, which is the point at which the graph cuts the y-axis. Now all we have to do is draw in the line starting from 4680. Since this function has the same slope as the first one, it's going to be parallel to the line already drawn on the graph, so it should look something like this. Part C is worth another 5 marks. In part D, we're told that Frida finds another formula for her power output. Now she lets these two formulas equal to each other, and we're given another unknown f, where f is her height. The question asks us to write h in terms of w and f. So basically we just have to manipulate this equation to get h on its own. So what we're gonna do is move all the h's to one side and move everything else to the other side. After doing so, we get this new equation. And the last step to get h on its own is to divide both sides by 18. And there we go, that's our final equation. Part D is worth the final 10 marks, and that's the end of this question. I hope you guys found this solution video helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again.